It's another impact of the pandemic that does not seem to be letting up. Restaurants trying to find ways to deal with staffing shortages while keeping up with customer demand. News 13's George Gonzalez joins us live from Duran's on Central with the story. George? Well, yeah, Jess and Dini, after speaking with multiple restaurants today, they all seem to be having the same problem, finding employees. I'm kind of surprised at the staffing shortage. You see all the signs, help wanted signs, everybody's hiring, but nobody can hire anybody. And to find good people is a really big challenge. Now, restaurants like Vinaigrette and Duran say since the first shutdown of the pandemic, they've had to learn how to adapt to change and deal with loss in revenue as they combat the workforce crisis. Now, reeling from a loss of employees, businesses say they worry about customer service slacking and have required the limited workers they do have on hand to fill in on other positions. Mitigating the measures even further, restaurants are continuing to limit capacity, closing off sections, and even reducing business hours whenever necessary. What it's caused us to do is, is, on a continual basis, rethink how we can do business. Um, today we're a little short-staffed, some people called out, and um, so you can, we don't have all our tables that we normally have. On top of the limited staff, businesses say the surge in COVID-19 cases makes things even worse whenever a team member tests positive. Now, businesses say even with the added measures, they are grateful that they are able to remain open. Back to you. All right. Thank you, George. Restaurants say they are also still facing supply chain issues and dealing with limited products.